السلام علیکم جی آیا نو پخیر راغلے نی ہاو چون شم میں وش ملے او ہائی گنزائمز گوٹن مورگن پریویت اولا بونجور ہائی ہگز ان ہیلوز اور ویری امیزنگ خوش آمدی تو ایوری وان ہوز ٹیون ان ٹو پی ٹی بو بولڈ اینڈ واچنگ ورلڈ دس مارننگ ونس اگین ود مہا مخدو اینڈ شہزاد خان ہیلو مہا ویلکم بیک ہاؤ ار یو ویری مچ آئی ایم ویری گڈ ایم ہیپی ٹو بی بیک بٹ آئی فیل لوور ٹوڈے اینڈ آئی ریئلائز آئی آئی ڈو ہیو مائی لسٹ آن دی چیس سو ناؤ آئی فیل لائک اے لول چائلڈ ویل اٹس بیکاز آف دا فیکٹ دیٹ یو ہیو بین ورکنگ اینڈ یو نو وین اے پرسن از ایکچولی ڈیڈیکیٹڈ ٹوورڈس دیئر ورک دین یو نو دیر آر ٹائمز وین یو فیل دیٹ یو نو یو ڈو ناٹ ہیو دا سرٹن اماؤنٹ آف اینرجی ٹو پرابلی پول آف تھنگس وچ یو وانٹ ٹو ڈو جسٹ دا چیئر اوکے دین دیٹس فائن ویل دیر کوشن دینے ایک No, 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 it's like, so no, absolutely, you're absolutely right. It's, I did have a lot of work to do, but I'm back and I'm happy to be back. I'm happy to be with you guys. You did some wonderful Thank show as well. Much. I was aware, I was really upset that I missed these topics as well, because they were some of my really favorite guests. Yeah, but as show. a matter of fact, Ma, I was thinking this, that, you know, well, obviously when you're dedicated towards your work, for example, the show, mm. which we certainly do not want to miss, but you, we at times do have other chores to look after as well. We do have other... Uh, priorities to to go far beyond but then at the same time you know this is how life goes yes absolutely but we have a wonderful show lined up for you today so i think let's take a look at the top stories for the hour let's go ahead prime minister shahid khakan abbasi has directed the interior ministry to work out a comprehensive policy on issuance of arms licenses so as to make the process more convenient and applicant friendly. And Russia and Pakistan were ranked first and second on a list of 64 countries and regions in terms of cooperation with China under the Belt and Road Initiative, according to a report released by the State Information Center. Wow. Excellent. Pakistan and Germany signed four financial and technical agreements for vaccination and polio eradication from the country. Great. Oh, we're almost there. Almost. And Pakistan Motor Rally, organized by Pakistan Army to commemorate the 17th year of the country's independence, concluded after reaching Gwadar. Congratulations. Oh, I still want to go to Gwadar. Me too. The chief of army staff there. Yes. Last but not the least, mainly dry weather is expected in most parts of the country during next 24 hours. According to Mad Office, misty, foggy weather conditions are expected in Upper Sindh, plain areas of Punjab, particularly Lahore, Faisalabad divisions and adjoining areas during morning hours. Cozy Drive carefully, please. Yeah. The oh, wow. Cozy but winter it, but is upon lovely. us. I but it's it. always lovely. And over here in Islamabad, it's, going, it's even going to get foggy, I think, probably in December and January. And the mornings are just superb. They absolutely are. But let's move on to our public service message. Let's do and it. And we have two for you today. All right, so Maha, we'll get started with the one you have. Yes, absolutely. And this is linked to, fo to our last headline, which is about the weather changing. Um, a lot of people think that we're getting a lot of fog. It's not fog, it's smog, so be careful with that. Do make sure that you're not you know, going into it. It's not healthy for you either. So there is a difference, and like Shazad said, the fog will come in December, January time. Anything before that is probably smog, so be careful. And it's because of the fact that there's a lot of construction going on, then there's a qu uh, quite dust, a lot of uh, pollution. Uh, pollu uh, pollution and then dust. So it's better that you stay back at home because it affects children and the elderly quite a lot. So yep. please make sure that you don't go out or step out unnecessarily. Okay. And now moving on one. towards the public service message I have, and that is that, you know, in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa and in the federal administered areas as well, uh, there's this polio eradication uh, campaign going on, and there are health service people who are coming door to door. Please make sure when they come to your door that you offer them a glass of water or a few biscuits, because that's what they have been doing. They have been on their feet. You know, I don't know since when, you know, obviously they'll start in the morning and then by the evening, that's what they're doing. So they get tired to offer them a chair to sit. This is what we are famous for. Pakistani nation is famous for their hospitality. Please make sure that you do not lack in between that hospitality. Exactly, hours. because they're out there for the benefit of this country and for the communities and society. So that's the least we can offer. And now we're going to move on. Yeah. And now we're go definitely going to move on towards our uh, topic. But... 
I think it is uh, the public service message, the polio one, mm. is about personality development as well. That, you know, for mm. all those people mm. who actually were, you know, who have those traits within their personality where they are happy to extend hospitality to all mm. those people who come or show up at their places. Well, it's not necessary that, you know, you show hospitality to everyone, even if there's somebody <laughs> holding a gun open the gate. You don't have to do it then. But I think it is in line with, yeah. with what we're going to discuss yeah, today. Yeah, absolutely. Like, you know, there's different traits of your personality. There's different things. And it's about being productive. It's about having emotional intelligence and, and, just, and also intelligence as well. But it's about making the most out of life. And we do do these shows from time to time so that we can stop and take an honest reflection on how are we progressing with our life? What are we doing day to day? Is it positive? Is it having a good impact? If not, how can we make it better? Exactly. And then, you know, at a certain stage, at a certain point in your life, you know, may it be because of the pressures or because of your people, you know, who, who, you, who surround you. Yeah. So what you do is that your personality changes with the passage of time. So then you have to reiterate. You have to remind your own self what kind of a person you are. Mm -hmm. So what I've done is that I've actually, you know, written it. it it's my wallpaper over here. So be the player of your game, Jim. Love yourself. So these are a few things which I tell... Yeah tell myself almost on daily basis so that I should always be the person I was. Okay, yeah, and I have a cheesy one. I actually have a picture of my parents when uh, they were younger. And it just reminds me that they were really good people and I want to <laughs> be a bit more like them because they're nice and they're calm and they don't get angry. <laughs> So yes, so that's what we're going to be talking about today. And Shazad has uh, the guest. Yes, exactly. So on my right hand side, once again, joining us, a corporate trainer, a social confidence coach, none other than Mr. Furkan Shamsi. Hello, assalamu alaikum. How are you? Assalamu alaikum, Shazad and Maha. I'm very well. well. How are you? Absolutely Thank you so much for joining Wonderful. us. Today. Thank you very much for joining us. And well, uh, the person sitting right next to Mr. Furkan Shamsi has been on the show too as well. Yeah. Looks like that he's a student of Furkan Shamsi as well. You know, this, this, this is how I feel. But it's not like that because of the expression from Mr. It's Furkan okay. Shamsi gave me. But early in the morning, you know, a bit of giggles. Mm -hmm. All right. So he's a corporate trainer <laughs> at the terms. Missing P. And he is Mr. Usman Gulzari. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? I'm great. Alhamdulillah. How are you? Thank you very much for Thank joining us. Thank you so much us. for joining us, guys. Okay. So now, um, you know, it's the age-old generic questions that we must start with. Um, because I think... The, true essence of personality or character building gets lost in you know these buzzwords but when we talk about personality grooming and building what do we actually mean first of all we have to understand what is personality yes mm -hmm. you know they say personality is for life and character is for eternity okay so which means something to do what you're reflecting all right uh, in terms of uh, what traditionally been uh, observed or in generally the belief by the people in yeah. terms of the grooming and then associating with the with the word personality is your attire is your looks is your hairs uh, you know in terms of okay. anything yeah. it's your appearance yes yeah. that is one thing but that is not only the thing okay so when we're talking about personality grooming or personality development mm -hmm. we're talking about much more than that and mm -hmm. that is about your attitudes your aptitude your behaviors your beliefs they're all based on your values. Mm. All right. So it all so comes down to our values. Oh, yes. All right. At the end of the day, because values, are, uh, as I always say, values drives the behaviors. Mm. It's a bi-causal relationship, by the way, okay. because behaviors ultimately helps you develop or enhance or augment your values. Mm. So it's, 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 it's a bi-causal relationship. So uh, even though, you know, it's, it, it shouldn't be our forte to judge personalities, but, you know, by the end of the day, that's what everyone's yeah. doing. We all so do. how do we judge the, whether somebody carries a good personality or not? I think that's a question for Gulzari sir. I think there are two ways we can judge for, uh, a person. One is by, you know, f at first glance, mm -hmm. okay. that how a person is carrying himself mm -hmm. or herself. The first impression. Yeah, the, the first impression, impression is the last like impression or the lasting impression. Yes. Yes. So this is the first. No matter how, per it is said that in the beginning, your style is more important than your substance. Okay. It does not matter that, how, you know, how much you know, mm -hmm. but if your style is not that much appealing, maybe people are going to reject you. Mm -hmm. and, and there are so much, you know, theories and, you know, researches have been done. Uh, for example, uh, Dr. Albert Mehrabian has said that it's like 93% you are being judged by your normal communication. Mm -hmm. right. And second is about your thoughts, your reflection, when you open your you know, mouth, so what you actually say, what are your thoughts? How, uh, for example, if I talk about how you perceive 
Pakistan. It's mm -hmm. a land of frustration or land of opportunities. Mm -hmm. So what, what, what are you are going to say about these things? Mm -hmm. you know, there are few people who are like suicide bombers. Whenever, wherever they are sitting, mm -hmm. they just, you know, uh, let other person down by, mm -hmm. by having negative thoughts. So I think these are two things. Okay. One is about their personality, ap appearance, and second is the thoughts. That's uh, really imp uh, important that you both mentioned the appearance aspect because we now, we do live in a society, internationally, you know, every society has this, where we care a lot about how we look, we care about the latest fashions, we care about carrying the latest bags, or the shoes, or the ties, or the belts. But that's, do you think that that's where we stopped now? Because, you know, yeah. we're caring more about the superficial, you know, everything's about beauty and this and that. And you can see all <laughs> the social explosions happening in different communities in different parts of the world. In America, you have your own. In Pakistan, you mm. have your own. In England, you have your own. In France, there's another one. So The cultural context do matter. Okay. That is one thing. Uh, you know the word personality? Mm. The very basis or the origin is actually the persona, okay. which, is actually, which means mask. Okay. Now, people confuses this, this whole word, personality, they're wearing a mask. And there is a very famous um, story of a young executive mm. All right. who was promoted. But he, was, he, had, a, uh, he had a lower self-esteem. Mm -hmm. So what happens? Um, somebody knocks on the door. He was on a new seat and uh, behind the new desk, and he picks up the phone, and he just started, uh, you know, he, he wore that mask and oh. started pretending. Hello, uh, yes, okay, I will handle that. Okay, what, what, what could be the problem? At a sector, at a sector. Mm. Put the phone down. Yes, how can I help you? And the person said, I'm here to, um, you know, repair your phone line. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So, so it is about, you know, it is associated with the self-esteem as well. Okay. What you're referring to, different cultures, different places, different regions, even in Pakistan, mm. you know, if you go to, say, KPK, mm. you will have, you will, it's not about that you are actually um, wearing a mask mm. or you're copying something or imitating something. It's about the personality traits, mm. the word Shazad was referring to, yeah. your characteristic, because it's a blend of traits and characteristics which are reflected through your behaviors. All right. Now how? For example, um, we walked in, um, there was a guard outside, and the moment I was actually, you know, uh, approaching the door, and he said, As-salamu alaykum, I was like, As-salamu alaykum, yes I am. And he was like, okay. You know, for him, <laughs> that, was a, that could be a different gesture. Exactly. For somebody who's walking uh, into PTV studios. And he was out about to ask, where are you guys headed? Kind of I thing. think he might have forgotten that question as well. <laughs> so, so here comes that first Bhai impression. Ke lag rahe. <laughs> you see, yeah. that, here comes that impression yeah. or impact, we say. Exactly. Okay. It's not the impression only, it's the impact. And sometimes you're communicating even you're not actually. Non we non confuse the word mm. communication as only speaking. Mm. Sometimes you haven't started speaking. Sometimes you even haven't started you know, even when you're writing, mm. it reflects there. Yeah. So it's the set of traits, those characteristics, which we obviously uh, uncover and discover here again. Mm. So it's about the reflection. In different places, as you were saying, that we stopped or we started. Yes, we follow. Um, back in back in 20 years back, for, for example. For example, if I might accompany somebody into a near five-star or seven-star hotel, mm. and I don't know how to eat caviar, so I might probably <laughs> just follow that, okay, let me see what this other person is doing. Or probably, you know, when you're ordering, so you're like, okay, whatever he asked for, man, I'm yeah, make, make it too. too. I mean, even <laughs> this fashion, like, I mean, the, these styles, they're taken from the 70s, so we are, you know, we are re regurgitating, we're like, you know, taking things, making it into fashion. Sometime back, there was this French crop cut or undercut something, uh, long that, hairs, yeah. short yeah. hairs. Mm. Yeah. Um, no, no hair. Uh, no, no <laughs> hair. Actually, yes. yes. You know, I, I usually say every person should, should, be, uh, should have a head shave once in a lifetime. Yeah. It's because you have to, you know, it's about your, when you're talking about self-esteem, when you're talking about self-confidence, and then it's your uh, uh, personality, yeah. what you're reflecting, not in terms of your appearance. Yeah. It's about how confident you are about yourself. Because even if you're I not... I have shaved four times. Yeah. Because even if you're not going to get your Literally. head shaved, it's <laughs> coming anyway. So, you know, you okay. know beware. But there's okay. one more thing. Yeah. Because, Ma, the question you asked is mm. very pertinent, and Correct. it is very important to be asked in this day and time. And okay. Guzal Saab... What she was trying to point out was that we are probably focusing more on be wearing branded clothes, going to the gym, staying fit, whatnot, making our hair, but there's no substance within our own selves. So we do Maybe not lacking. really so we do not really work on ourselves or yeah. the emotional quotient or the intelligence quotient. We do not read books. We just want to look good, drive a fancy car and mm. hold a good cell phone. 
So how the do we develop them? That I think it's so right. Like psychologists say that uh, your your outer world is like your inner world. If you, you, you and the core of your personality is basically your self esteem, what he mentioned. Mm. And if you are not confident about yourself, I think the most important word about personality development is confidence. Okay. And con confidence means that being certain about something. Mm -hmm. For example, if a person is carrying a good suit. And but he is not being confident about himself. So what is the whole idea? So what mm -hmm. what is the whole? You know, th there is no there is no advantage of it. So uh, the most important thing I believe that it's like uh, more than that because you people perceive you from your outer look, but how you are feeling, mm -hmm. you know, this is more important. And that comes by self esteem. And I, you know, uh, I'm, I really appreciate that what you do, your self affirmation that you said that I'm you know. I'm the best guy in the world, like these kind of, these kind of sentences actually but help you. No, and this is psychologically proven, that they use yes. it in so many things, even no. with the, in cognitive behavioral therapy, yes. you have yes. the self-affirmation uh, and, mm. you know, all these things. Now, uh, now talking about, let's, let's take this conversation forward. So we talked about the personality, we talked mm. about um, the values drive the behaviors which are linked with the aptitudes and the attitudes and the, then the appearance. How do we develop these personality traits? Because you need to have a good value in order to have a good personality, but we mm -hmm. can't tell people what values to have. They have to well, figure that out themselves, yes. right? One are, you know, inherited tendencies, mm. which are, you know, through the genes or parents and uh, by the influence of the family. Mm -hmm. Some are being developed. And you just said one of the magic words. I call it personality development or personality grooming as you have to have a magical personality. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, those magical personality does not mean that you, you, you have an aura which is reflecting some magic out of it. Mm -hmm. It's not about your appearance. Okay. It's a, the very first word is how we develop it mm -hmm. is the affirmation. Affirmation. You know, um, uh, I use a word which is K-A-R, which is n knowing yourself, mm -hmm. affirmations, and R is to radiate them. Radiate. Now, how you radiate it is one is by your appearance in terms of clothing, you know, uh, hairs, mm. facial hairs, and a sector to sector. Because traditionally grooming was actually about this. Mm -hmm. And still, by book and by, by all theories, yes, grooming is all about it. Mm. But we are talking about personality grooming mm. and development. So the very first step is knowing yourself. Mm. And I always give that example. When you look at the mirror, you look at the physical attributes. Yeah. Mm. That is your physical attribute audit. Mm. Do your skills audit as well. Do your capabilities audit as well. And that is your aptitude. Mm -hmm. Not only attitude. That is your aptitude which will be later reflected as a behavior. It's like a SWOT analysis. It is kind of a SWOT analysis of yourself. But how do we do it? You know, when, when, we, when we think about our own selves, when we want to change our own selves, or when we have to find a weakness within our own selves, mm -hmm. We tend to lie to ourselves as yeah, well. Yeah, because we're like, well, no, but I did this and the other person did this, but yeah. I you tried go, my best. You walk into a um, uh, clothing store yeah. Yeah. and, you know, all those things are actually on different mannequins. Yeah. And you're like, oh, what a, what a lovely uh, jumper or, or a jacket it is. Yeah. And you, well, I will look good equally. Mm -hmm. When you try it, you say, mm, just leave it. Yeah. And sometimes you like it. Okay, let, yeah. let, let yeah, actually it actually try it for like a few weeks, few days. Yeah. And then I will actually, you know, tend to stop it. Here comes that part, what looks good on you. What you were referring to, those cultures, those fashions and everything, it comes from here. It starts from the very first thing, positive mental attitude. Mm. So if you have that mental attitude, obviously that will be reflected not only your, in terms of your clothing, but actually in, your, in terms of your thought process. Mm. So how you actually initially started okay. is you, the development of that thought process in your head. All right. And that has to start positively. Okay. How to do it? In a very layman's term, put a piece of paper, draw a line, put your positive traits, put your negative traits, which you want to enhance, take them, which you want to remove, cross them. Okay, right. now when you're, when you're doing this, now we're talking about you know, uh, self-reflection here, and we're talking about how actually sometimes you, we all truly struggle with accurate self-reflection. How important is it? Because I know in some therapies and some psychological uh, practices, they get other people, yeah. people you trust, you know, people mm. that truly know you to list down the positives, but not really the negatives because this already, you know, self, you know, uh, assurance, like they don't have self-esteem, etc. So yeah. 
How important is that, do you think, in regarding personality development? In bringing in other people? Yes. Or other entities? Yes. The very first entity is you mm. with the help of that mirror. Yes. But prior to that is you yourself. Mm. And then bring other people. Yes, you always need mentors. Mm. You know, you always need people bring but in coaches, fashion designers. We do coaches, need mentors. We do not designers. need backbiters, you know. Yes. <laughs> For people who have been saying bad stuff trust, about yeah. you and they're all of a sudden right in front of you. Mm. Oh, well, you know, this is what I think about you, man. you you got to improve. Learning yeah. learning is a is, is a trier which follows its owner everywhere. Mm. So that is the first thing. Yeah. Right. So, so, so learning not only becomes with from your own self, from the books, it actually the very first learning tool that I tell people is observation. Mm. Observe people. If if even if you're talking about, you know, we look at the people and you say what a what a wonderful personality he is, when or she is. When we look at those personality traits, we try to analyze them. How? You know, people confuse this this personality thing as as the leadership trait as well, which is mm. separate. We will talk about it later. But when we're talking about the personality thing, in seeking help from other people, mm. yes, it becomes very necessary mm. because it's. It's the same part. How do I look? Mm. You right. know, wearing my own jacket, looking at the mirror, yeah. that's my own where I might lie my, uh, to myself. Mm. But asking an honest opinion, yes, mm. uh, the world is not a wish granting factory that you will get always, you know, the right kind of people for you to, of your choice. Obviously. Mm. You know, where you want somebody to say, oh, it looks very good. Mm. You know, you, 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 you need an honest opinion. Mm. And I think uh, I'll move on to Gulzari Sahib over here, and you have to tell me whether this process is right or wrong. So what we do is, for example, if somebody's opening up a restaurant, what they'll do is that they'll probably make a few dishes out mm -hmm. of the menu, and then they'll do a little bit of sampling and go to different people, a set of people, you know, which might be probably 50 people or 30 people. So that means that everybody can vary. They're not your friends, and they can give you right feedback. So do you think that, you know, when you're asking about your own self, you should actually ask from 10 to 15 people or just one? <clears throat> okay. I think when we talk about personality, it's a combination of two things. One is nature and second is nurture. Yeah. Like uh, it's, it's, it, is, it is also that you are an average of five people you beat on a daily basis, mm. right? So whom you, meet, whom you are meeting, it, it, it is going to have a very, very strong impact on your personality. Mm. So coming back to your question, I believe that having one, or one mentor, one person whom you trust and you believe that he does not have any financial or any other interest in mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. but he is just helping you out so that you, he wants you to shine. Yeah. So I think that one, one or two people, uh, going to them, it's it's better than going to 10 or 15 people. Otherwise, if you meet 10, 15 people, they are just going to confuse you. Yeah. But so you know, you use the magical word over here is mentor. I do not know whether how many people out there have actually found their mentors as well or not. Mm. But right now, we need to oh, go for a trailer, right? Yeah, we will go for a trailer. But what I want to add about the mentor is that it's not like, yes, if you have a mentor, it's fantastic. But you, over the course of your life, you accumulate at least a handful, up to five people that you are close to. It could be your parents, it could be your brother, it could be your best friend, it could be your wife, it could be your husband, or whoever. These are the people that also see you and can give you an honest uh, mm. uh, reaction on to what they see. But you also have to remember it's what they are seeing. So anyway, with that, let's go and share the trailer for ba Black Panther, which is fantastic. I'm so excited about this. Let's go take a look. Let's go ahead. I have seen gods fly. I've seen men build weapons that I couldn't even imagine. Uh-huh. I've seen aliens drop from the sky. Yeah. But I have never seen anything like this. How much more are you hiding? Hold up. Let's go, go, go. Entire life. 
after this. The world's gonna start over. I'ma burn it all. What happens now determines what happens to the rest of the world. Okay, so this was Black Panther, and you know, it's so great. I'm so I have to say this because we, I, we were talking about it with our producers that it's so great to see a mainstream Marvel film from Hollywood with a whole, like, you know, different cast. It's amazing. I'm so excited. I was, I was just thinking society whether. Society in the world needs this. Yeah, I was, just, I was just thinking whether you were going to use that word or not, but you kind of skipped out on that as well. But, you know, these days in theater and films, we can see that there's no discrimination going on. And on Netflix, I've been watching these two very amazing uh, seasons. Mm -hmm. One is Flash. Well, people do not agree mm -hmm. with me because this is the type of things I watch. Mm -hmm. And then the other one's Arrow. Okay. And then even in the lead or in the second lead, we can see that, you know, there are people from all races, sex and whatever. Yeah, and excellent. religion too. But now, before <coughs> going towards this trailer, ladies and gentlemen, there was one thing which I wanted to ask and that was that, you know, obviously it takes you quite a lot of time to fi find yourself a mentor. Yeah. But please, or, you know, it's a question whether we should actually ask about our own selves from our direct competitor or it's not a good idea. Well, asking from our own competitors mean how we define the competitiveness, actually. Oh. That, is, that is the point. If we are, you know, if we are trying to compete on a positive no notion, you know, asking from your competitor is not a bad idea. All right. Mm -hmm. If, you know, when I, say, when I was saying positive mental attitude, it starts from here. So if you have those negativities, you know, you, know, you are in a, in a form of that competition. Mm -hmm. You're not in a form of that collaboration or accommodating part, which becomes kind of five different models. The problem is, yes, it will become a very bad idea. Mm -hmm. Because deep down in, within yourself, yeah. you're biased towards the opinion. So even that person gives you a very honest opinion. You know, mm -hmm. keep your enemies close to yourself. Yeah. You, you might have read to it, enemy, heard it. Yeah, keep yeah. your friends close. Yeah. Yeah. So, so e even closer. Yeah. So, which means you ask them. The problem is, if you're m mentally biased to yourself, you will actually classify that that opinion as you know. Yeah. Okay. Now this, is this, now this is what I want okay. to ask. Mm -hmm. Now you know. It's not about bias, but at times what you see is that, you know, when you end up in a conversation, you're not even asking about your own self. They try to hijack the conversation just for the heck of it, mm. because you were talking earlier. So how do you deal with that situation? Mm. And I think it's a very vital part of your personality development just to let go. Yes. So, so uh, uh, I think uh, finding a mentor and uh, because we all have blind spots and it's not about just one mentor who is going to guide you in every direction of your life. Yeah. It's basically whenever we think about the different aspects of our life, we always find one or two people who are, you know, far better than what we are doing. Mm. So, and I have seen that this also, you know, comes from the confidence that if you just request them that I would like to have some few minutes of your time mm -hmm. and ask them that how can we do better so they are going to guide you. So I believe that having uh, the, um, the, the advice and uh, how can we get better, their basically guidance and their uh, valuable in, uh, contribution okay. actually make you strong. Oh yeah, and that actually comes back to what we were talking about earlier. If you have done an honest self-reflection yes. and you know where your strengths and weaknesses are, when you do go to a competitor, you can also draw that line of, yeah. okay, this is constructive, this is exactly. has got an agenda. It's about being self-aware. But another thing is she's like, do we not do that to each other? No, <laughs> it, it's not about us at all. Okay, just it's checking. about, you know, all of those <laughs> people you've been growing up with. Yeah. And, you know, I was the, just kidding. for example, just... your aunts and uncles actually make you sit down and they have the son of your age and ask you how much salary do you get. Yes. I don't think that these are the questions to be asked. I don't know, my, my mother's it's kind of taking this feedback from somebody else. Yeah. So if you're taking a feedback, there, there are like different steps. No, uh, but you uh, haven't even asked anybody for the feedback. It's just like, mm -hmm. oh, bitter, better, better, better. Okay. Bitter, bitter, better, better. Okay. Well, that, okay. Let's talk about this yeah. though. When you are actually, uh, you know, 
Do you have people within the society who are reflective? They want to make themselves better. They want to groom their personalities. And they're sitting there trying to make themselves better. Then you have, diff like you, you were talking about different social societies and cultures. You have different mm -hmm. people. Over here, we have that. Just, it's not constructive. It's just there. That's how and I it's not, it it's very <laughs> negative. Yeah, don't say anything. Um, so how do we deal with that? Because when you're trying to be a better person, a better, uh, you know, groom your personality, live productively, do something for society, you've got constant people nagging away, ne negging away no, at you. This you is always this, know how happy we are about yeah. This is the true reality of life yeah. anyway. How to, nice. how to actually cater this thing is about how you develop and maintain your self-esteem. Okay. Yeah. What I was using earlier okay, on. Now, how you do it? The people with the strong self-esteem or with self-confident people who want to develop themselves, they have a conviction okay. and they, they work on their competencies. Okay. So when we're talking about competencies, they only, you can only work on your competencies or abilities or capabilities when you have a very strong conviction. Conviction, the very first thing. Oh. That is something, yes, when you were saying, that is the belief or is the affirmation. Mm -hmm. That is yeah. one thing. When you're saying on the other hand that you have to actually develop the competences, you have to find out, identify those competencies first. Mm. You know, when you're associating with someone, mm. uh, you wish to follow some traits, you wish to follow some characteristics mm. of themselves. Why? Because you like them. This is the likability factor. Yeah. It's not your own popularity contest at any, any, at any point of time. Mm. It's about, yes, you want to associate. For example, yes, uh, you know, just for the sake of this Yeah, this go moment. for it, don't worry. Shazad, yes, I like. Oh, the way he speaks, oh, the way he articulates the ideas, wow. Wow. You know, <laughs> so this is the... Accept it as well. Uh, there you go. <laughs> now, so when I'm trying to follow or I'm trying to actually have those skills in myself, mm. I will actually l observe them. Mm. And then here comes that part where you have to reflect them. Exactly. You know, it's all about when, when, whenever I'm doing my training sessions as a corporate trainer and I'm, I'm working mm. as a coach with, mm. uh, with different people, I tell them it's a story of three R's. You know, the letter R, we together, we will review, uh, me and my men, uh, you know, the person I'm, I'm mentoring, for example, mm. coaching, really? or in the training program, mm. we will review, we will refresh Okay. with the contemporary requirements and prerequisites. Review, refresh. And then reflect. And that's okay. not we will do, you will do. Okay. All right. So this is how it works. Yeah. Think, so, sorry. Yeah, very, very sorry, but we sorry. have to head towards a break. And it's a, it is in emergency as mm -hmm. well. So ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere. And please make sure that you remember these three R's because when we come back, we're going to ask you about that once again. Going for a short break, don't go anywhere. Good morning.
<laughs> Welcome back, everyone. And before the break, we're talking about personality development. And we're having some really interesting conversations about reflection and honest reflection and the society and things. And before the break, um, Fergal was talking about the three R's that he does when he is mentoring yeah. someone that has approached him. It's What are they, Shikhar? I guess it was review, then refresh, and then reflect. Well done. And I think reflect is an important part of uh, your... Have to do reflection by is an important part of your personality because if you learn, you need to give back. Exactly. So, mm -hmm. And then um, Aswan had something to add yes. to that. Too. Uh, well, when you ask this question that, you know, how to deal with those negative comments because we everyone faces these things. Yeah. Exactly. So uh, my best advice that I have, you know, followed it, that do not give the remote control of your life to someone else's hands. Yeah. That's a very so good like, point. Because, you know, someone says, you're looking so good and you become very happy and some says, no, no, you know, there is something wrong with you and you just become sad. So it's all about, you know, the, the confidence, sh the conviction should come from your inside. Yeah, I've always yeah, seen you know, it. Yeah, I've noticed this as well, when actually someone is really happy and they look good and someone's like, yeah, but I don't like that. It's like, well, why do you need to say that to someone? Exactly. So, Ma, there are two types of people. One type, you know, when you see that, well, how's work? Oh, ji ki dasa, bas bada masla bade hoye, you know, I'm very tense, I don't know. And then the other type is, oh, how's work? Oh, it's great, man. It's yes. fantastic. Mm. So, I think it creates a difference as well when you say it. Mm. And now this new... No, no, when you your say... Words, oh, no, your no, words when create you, your words. Yeah. But no, what I'm trying to say is that when you're trying to do that and you say, well, it's great, so like... Yeah, but is it? And because this is what's wrong, so this that's, is what's wrong, why are you doing this? So that's where, where the remote control comes in. Yes. And for example, if I have tuned into channel number 56 and somebody comes in and says there's a good movie going on in 57, I have to stick to my decision then, yes. <laughs> even if it's a boring documentary. Okay, let's ask Bessel, ask us one. What do you, what do you think about this? But you know, how do you reflect all this? Because you have to be sure about your decision. Yeah, let me see. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> Uh, say it again, your question? The, what you were talking about when someone is coming, giving the remote control over to someone else, how do you prevent someone from taking the remote control? Because half the time your self-esteem is, it's out of your hands by the time you realize you've got lower self-esteem, exactly. you're an adult. Yes. So by that point, everyone has had a I think but just, just making a decision, for example, like, I would not allow, for example, I, you know, uh, I coach people on public speaking. This right. is considered to be the number one fear in the world. And I have seen that why people are not good speakers, mm -hmm. just because they feel that what other people would think about. Of course. So, yes. so I would say that this, this, this is a decision that I believe that these are the good things and these are the positive things which I am going to stick with. Mm -hmm. no, no, no matter what other people are saying, mm -hmm. it does not, it would not make any difference. And if you, if you just observe to, in the society, the people who are in low cater, I would say, I have respect a lot, but you know, who are not earning much, mm -hmm. so they 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 become you know very very agitated when other people say something to them, and mm -hmm. they just want to you know the the ego factor is so high, and they just would like to defend themselves. So what I have seen that people who are in in the higher positions, no matter what people are saying, it they would not make any difference. They would just have one or two credible people whom they would take advice, yeah. and if they are just uh, agreeing to that thing, then they would say, okay, now yeah. you know. Okay, before, and before we should, I don't know, has a very important question that we need to move on to before the show ends. But before we do that, it's now what you what you just mentioned is that um, you don't let someone else take it. Yes. You just yeah. That's very easy to say that, and that's why there's a very small percentage of this the whole world. They're the leaders, they're the CEOs, and they're running. You know, 10% of the world population, uh, po wealth is in this 10% of the population. Mm. So, I mean, not everyone can be like that. So how do we, what about the masses? Well, agreeing to what Usman has already said, it's about that making a decision. But how to make that decision? Yeah. yeah. It's about, you see, when you're referring to leadership and leaders, mm. you know, there is a difference between a good personality or a reflective personality and a leadership. Okay. As, as per Peter Drucker, uh, he says that leadership is actually just beyond the, the good personality or a very magical personality, lifting the vision mm. of the person. So that is the same thing, but it's, there is a next step involved. So that is one thing. I, I will actually touch that. Mm. But how to actually stop and constrain somebody to make the decision for yourself? Mm. First of all, you have to, when, we, we've already talked about this affirmations again and again yeah. now. Mm. It's about that thought process, good enough. How to reflect it? It's about taking someone's feedback? Yes, take it. Mm. You know, it's always good to take that feedback or even if you ha ask them or even you haven't asked them. You know, there are two kind of feedback. One is like, it doesn't look good on you <laughs> in terms of the clothing. Wanted or you don't wanted. speak good, for yeah. example. I've, I haven't asked for it. Yeah. So if it is intentional or unintentional, both. 
listen to the feedback. It's always good. Unless you don't listen, mm. you can't speak. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Speaking does not mean speaking only. It's you cannot reflect. You were referring to the reflection part. So unless you don't listen to someone, how would you reflect? But you have to also choose who you're listening to. Yes. It, now here comes that that part to whom to choose. Yes. Sometimes it's a signal to noise ratio. It's an engineering term where like you you're getting loads of you know when there's a transmitter and a mm. receiver, so loads of noise is coming in. You, the the trans uh, the exactly. receiver this just signal out you know the signal. Just like so this been our ear. Exactly. You, you're hearing so many things yeah. at the moment, yes? Yeah. And you're only referring to the one which you like. <laughs> <laughs> Interfered feedback. Oh, That's either what they either call by it. choice or by obligation, you're falling anyway. Exactly. So when you do the, 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 the choice part, it's about how you actually categorize them. Okay. Which one is appropriate for me? But if somebody tells me, for example, that, um, uh, you know, this kind of haircut or this kind of speech, or you need to actually, while you're speaking, you have to have this much of pauses, for example. Yeah. You know, I give people a very, uh, a very simple formula. As I was talking about RRR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me talk about ears. E-A-R-S. Yeah. E is, while you're listening, explore by asking more. Yeah. A, affirm what the person is saying, just to tell them. Yeah. R is, is um, uh, reflect what is he or she has said. And S is silence. All right. So that right, is nice, the good that part is, of uh, indeed, and Silence. we'll definitely share that on our Facebook fan page as well. But one last thing from both of you, very quickly, as quickly as I possible, and that is some quick tips to develop your own personality as quickly as possible. Let's start from you, Mr. Gujarat. I think the most important thing is that be comfortable in your skin and remember that God does not make any mistakes. Yeah. So you are the best creation of God. And yeah. this gives you immense confidence to live, to be okay. comfortable. Amazing. Excellent. Wonderful. Thank you. Start with the smile. Start with the body gestures. Mm. And then have a positive mental attitude. Have those positive thoughts. Mm. And it will be reflected in your all behaviors. I'm not talking about just the appearance. Yeah. It will actually reflect in your behaviors, Absolutely. in your attitudes. Amazing. Great. That, that's wonderful. And you know, this is that honest reflection, guys. It's not that nobody's perfect. You know, we all make mistakes. It's all about grooming ourselves to become the best people we can be. And you have people in society to guide you. Shazam, anything you want to yeah, add? Yeah, and the last thing which I would love to say over here is that patience, ladies and gentlemen, is one of those traits which can take you to the you know, heights of the sky as well. So please make sure that this one trait needs to be in your personality and that's being patient, no matter for how long, for how many years. Yeah. But if you learn to be patient and hold back, mm. I think this is where you are the best person. Yeah, and I think that's something that I'm going to be trying actively to do from now on. Right so right. if you want any advice, any information on all these things, log on to our Facebook fan page. Which is with the name of World This Morning. Our Twitter page. World This Morning without a G. Our Daily Motion and YouTube page. World This Morning. And the repeat is that. 5 past 11 p.m. Have a wonderful day. Have a positive day. And feel good in yourselves. We'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning. And if there's someone out there whom you think needs a bit of personality development just refer them this show because we weren't being biased look after yourself one two three good, good morning. morning thank you <laughs>